for our Patreon community. Over the last few days, a remarkable election result occurred, one that's important for all Americans to think about and to draw the lessons from. Back in 2013, a young woman, Kashama Sawant by name, decided that as a socialist and Marxist, she was going to run for the city council in Seattle, Washington, the home of the Amazon Corporation. She was going to represent, she said, working class people suffering many of the consequences of the domination of that city by the huge Amazon Corporation that had driven up the cost of housing and rents, that had changed the way the city works to pander to Amazon, literally in the construction of downtown, and so on. To the amazement of many, an outspoken socialist, Marxist, Kashama Sawant won a seat on the city council, and last weekend she was re-elected. She has now been re-elected several times, and when she takes her seat, will be the most senior member of the city council in Seattle. This is extraordinary in and of itself, and if I had nothing further to say, it would justify talking about it. But I do have more information which only makes Sawant's achievement that much more significant. As it became clear that several members of the city council, not just Sawant, were being pushed by their own constituents to take a more adversarial position, for example, taxing Amazon, a major issue, and requiring rules to be changed so the town would be less of the classic example of a company town than it had become. Amazon decided to stop playing around and to get direct with the way modern capitalism works. They injected $1 million spread out among the variety of city council candidates they want. And of course, that did not include Kashama Sawant, to say the least. A million dollars for a few city council seats is a big increase in expenditure. It shows that capitalism understands, and the capitalists who run it understand, that in the end, what they have to confront people is money and they're showing they're determined to use it. But they didn't spend enough. Or the people are not willing to be bamboozled by money and what money can buy. If a socialist movement can reach people with its own presentation of who it is and what it wants and what it plans to do, it turns out that the results in Seattle suggest that organizing people can and will defeat capitalists' money. So the election of Kishama Sawant in Seattle teaches us this. People can sometimes beat money, number one. Number two, that the appeal of socialism is much stronger and deeper and more enduring than many would have guessed. And perhaps most important, if in the face of an enormously wealthy corporation, able to pull all manner of strings, a city council can emerge, not just Kishama Sawan, but some of her allies, able and willing to push in a different direction, there is real Massive, strong support. This is not a hopeless quest. Far from it. 